Just last month, Drake was testing out a new residence in the Lux Truesdale Estates neighborhood in Beverly Hills. While the rapper has a custom main mansion in his hometown of Toronto as well as a property in Hidden Hills, he decided to splurge on renting a dramatic and pricey natural mansion worth a reported $65 million. It's called a natural mansion because the details and finishes are set to use elements of nature like an olive tree centerpiece in the house and a waterfall. So let's check out what's so unique about Drake's Beverly Hills rental property. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Drake is best known for being a rapper and singer who of course hails from the sticks or Toronto, Canada. The native Canadian who's amassed an estimated net worth of over $180 million is widely known for his love of humongous houses. His main residence, a custom palace in Toronto, spans about 50,000 square feet, while he also maintains a Hidden Hills estate made up of three adjacent properties. This Beverly Hills rental is no less luxurious and full of a super modern aesthetic. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one all about Drake's latest living situation in Beverly Hills. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers on here and we're pretty close. So if you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram if you want to chat. And now let's get into this video. At the end of October 2021, it was reported that Drake had found a new temporary residence in Beverly Hills. He was renting a lavish mansion in the posh community of Truesdale Estates, where celebrity neighbors include Jennifer Aniston, David Spade, and Jane Fonda, just to name a few. While it's not confirmed how much Drake has been paying to rent the home out, it's on the market with an ask of $65 million, which seems like a price tag right up Drake's alley. The property was built on spec by international architecture firm SAOTA and completed just this year in 2021. The unique and super contemporary crib is dubbed a natural home because the finishes and details use elements of nature, including a beautiful 20 foot stone waterfall that flows down from a moat on the outside of the mansion, then passing through the home's dining room and landing in a courtyard. Here, the water wraps around a 15 foot tall olive tree that came over straight from Italy and took 15 people and a crane to plant. The dramatic mansion spans over 18,000 square feet of space inside with seven bedrooms and 14 baths throughout and is situated on a Truesdale Ridge with half an acre of land. Walking in, there's a double height atrium style entryway decked out in marble with a curved spiral staircase that's the epitome of grand. There's plenty of full walls of glass and other sleek finishes to impress anyone and Drake seems to be loving the place. Other features in this sprawling home include a movie theater that has plush furnishings and stylish backlight as well as multiple lounge areas. One of the living rooms has a full wall of soaring glass which retracts to reveal the outdoor spaces and the nearby kitchen is all custom with designer appliances, a marble island and a separate catering kitchen with viking appliances. As you'd expect from any rental mansion Drake is shacking up in, the upscale amenities don't end there. There's a 2,000 bottle wine cellar with black cabinets, a wellness center featuring a sauna, steam room, and massage rooms, and of course, a gym with Peloton bikes and fancy training equipment. Even the art in this mega home is fancy. One George Kondo painting here is reported to be worth millions alone. The room that Drake no doubt made his own while renting this crib was definitely the private owner's retreat, which looks as if it's hanging off the hillside. The master came with double bathrooms decked out in marble, as well as a massive dressing room and a 400 square foot terrace with hot tub. The lower level of the mansion is the only daylight basement in all of Truesdale Estates. It has an entertainment room with modern sofas, a wet bar, and multiple TVs built into the wall. Glass sliders here open to reveal the Olympic sized infinity pool and attached spa. While Drake has definitely been indulging in this natural mansion temporarily, sources say he was only renting it out and isn't looking to buy in the area at this time. If you watch this channel, then you've probably already seen Drake's main property, his pride and joy to be more specific, his mansion in Toronto, Ontario. The rapper purchased the land back in 2016 for $6.7 million, getting the home custom designed and constructed from the ground up, which took years. These days, Drake's mansion is also known as the Embassy and is worth an estimated $100 million. 
It's located on two acres of land in the upscale Bridal Path community in Toronto. Not to mention, he installed super high fences surrounding the compound for ultimate privacy. No expense was spared in crafting Drake's dream home. The abode is made of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other top-notch materials, spanning a whopping 50,000 square feet of space. The entryway is decked out in black and white marble with soaring ceilings, and also on the main floor, there's a two-level hallway, a party area, and a great room with 44-foot high ceilings and a fireplace. His kitchen boasts a clean white color palette with a large marble block island in the center, as well as blue suede bar chairs to dine in and designer appliances, while the dining room is close by to easily flow from one room to the next. Drake's fave spot in the mansion is his 3,200 square foot master retreat that's located in its own wing of the home. There's a large one ton bed and the bedding and tapestries are all designer as you'd expect, while there's an extra 1,100 square feet of covered terraces here too. His spa style bathroom boasts a steam shower and hot tub, while the suite also encompasses two dressing rooms and a kitchenette. Other luxury rooms in Drake's palace include a cozy studio lounge, awards room, recording studio, and a jersey hall full of basketball memorabilia on display. Elsewhere, there's a home gym, a movie theater, snack bar, and an elevator. Being the basketball ambassador and fan that he is, Drake also has an NB regulation-sized basketball court inside his home, custom designed with his OVO brand logo. I'm not done yet either. Downstairs is one of my favorite rooms where the rapper hides his Olympic-sized indoor swimming pool decked out in black granite, also boasting special lighting to set the mood, seating around the pool and mirrored walls. And Drake had to include two pools, building another one outside which is also massive and perfect for the summer months. Now we've taken a look at Drake's latest rental home in Beverly Hills in comparison to his main Toronto mansion. So what did you guys think? Does any property come close to his Canadian palace or no? I think that the Truesdale Estates rental was pretty in line with the rapper's over the top taste. I mean, that house was super modern. I'm not usually into that aesthetic, but I did think the waterfall was pretty cool. Did you guys have a favorite feature in the home? Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Drake's mansions down in the comments. I would love to get to know more of you guys as well, so be sure to check out my TikTok and see what I've been up to over there. I might even follow you back. Sorry, Do you really think yeah. that I don't know what you're up to? You're a father now, Jordan? Yeah. You're a father now. I know. And you're still acting yes. like an infant. Ah! Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.